in Kohala, back in those days, you could probably go anywhere you wanted to, up in the mountain, you know, go here. And, you know, everybody kind of respected the land and respected, you know, the people, the property owners or whatever. And after I came back, there was like gates and fences all over with trespass signs, do not trespass, you know, stay out and everything. So it was kind of hard to, you know, like relive what you did when you were growing up because people get angry at you because you're on their property, right? Um, that was the main thing that, that, I, that I, I, you know, saw. And the, the lifestyle changed because everybody wasn't working for the plantation anymore. And back in, in the day, you know, a plantation took care of, you know, your medical needs, your dental needs. And, you know, everybody was poor, but everybody was well taken care of. You know, you didn't have to worry about, you know, your health, your dental, you know, your dental health. Uh, and, but today now, you know, it's like, it costs an arm and a leg to have medical and dental care. And, well, everything, you know, got expensive and everything got more uh, closed off to the general public. That's probably the main changes, you know, back then and now. And, and back then, I haven't lived in Kohala for a while and I'm walking around and I see a lot of people and we all reminisce, but I don't know how the general, but back in the day, you know, everybody kind of helped each other out and, you know, so you were okay. But I don't know if everybody has that, that same, you know, feeling of, you know, like, okay, we're all one big family. Because I was commenting to some friends that I met that, you know, I would spend, you know, a lot of time at other people's homes, but we were always there with respect, and we respected other people's property, and, you know, it was, respect was the main thing. And if we didn't respect anybody, you'd be, you know, sh sure, <laughs> you can be certain that somebody will lick you. I mean, <laughs> they, they, they kind of like, you know, set you straight. And, um, but that's how it was, you know, and, and your parents or whoever, whoever kids that you discipline, their parents will not get angry at you because, you know, they expected you to kind of take care of your kids and, you know, make sure that you behave properly. Um, not so much anymore, you know. You try to discipline some other people's kids and they get offended. And uh, I don't know, I mean, there's all kinds of... Uh, opinions about that or you know how people feel about that but back in the old days it was it was okay i guess to you know discipline other people's kids i mean you wasn't going to beat them up you know but uh you did discipline them even if it was like pulling somebody's ears and and telling them you know to knock it off i joined the navy in 1970 i think it phased out in 1973 so i wasn't a part of that and it was kind of Fortunate that I was in the Navy because a lot of my friends didn't ha they were working on the plantation and they didn't have a place to go and a lot of them ended up at the hotels, which is, you know, not, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, driving from here to, you know, Mauna Kea Beach Hotel, that was kind of like a, you know, a drive. Nowadays it's nothing, but back in those days it was like, you know, a long drive to just get to work. So I, I kind of missed all of that while I was in the Navy and I, I missed all of that gas rationing and everything because we had ample amount of gas and, you know, where wherever I was stationed at, but yeah, so yeah, right after graduation, I was gone for eight years, and then I came back, but Kohala wasn't really a place that you could make a living on, the, you know, so I, I ended up in, in Kona, and, um, but my mom and dad was still living in, in Kohala, and, and so I still had ties, and then now my son lives in Kohala, so I still have, you know, ties back to Kohala. Thank you.